I'd like to thank you all for sparing your busy for sparing your time from your busy schedules and joining us here today. We're happy to have our special and honorable scholars with us from our Manar Islamic Center. I would like you to all stand up for the national anthem now.
to enjoy a meal or drink water, and then again you still have a fasting. So you refine yourself. Okay, what else happens in Ramadan? Can, can you all share? Yes, that's called the power of night. Very much right. Now, we had the session before, in the morning, and we had a brief q and a. It's a very interactive session, something like this to start with. And we were asking questions. Do you know what exactly happened in Ramadan? Some of you said, yes, the Noble Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad to Jibreel. Where was it revealed? Yes, okay. Right, right, right. right. Now, this Noble Quran, for whom is it? It's it us, us, us. Believers only? It is not just a guidance, but the proof of guidance. When you keep this in mind. Many of us think that it's just a guidance. There's a difference between say guidance and proof of guidance. For example, if somebody is asking me how to go to Dubai, and if I say go like this, you'll get Dubai. That is guidance. I'm guiding somebody to go to Dubai. But how can you give a proof? That this kind of Dubai. If I show you, that, can you see there's a Bush Khalifa there? You see, yes, I can see. That's the one. Now I'm giving you proof of the guidance. That gives you a more confidence that yes, this guidance is for sure it's true. Because there's a proof. Alright? So there are lots of things. It gets communities together. In the Holy Book of Ramadan, we just don't know fasting or not. We, we get together for iftar with people of different faith. We get closer. To them in understanding and sharing the message of Islam, sharing the message of Ramadan, and the purpose of our life itself as a whole. Yeah? So, what we have designed today is that we will watch a movie called Ramadan movie, in which we're going to cover all these aspects fasting, the revelation of the Noble Quran, the purpose of life, and lots of other things, as you mentioned, the, 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 the right of power by the Tukhara. So, lots of things like this which are covered on the screen. Can you pay attention? Please switch off your phones if any one of you is carrying any distractions, any, any cross communications. Please pay attention because this opportunity is once in a year and you are so precious and so valuable for us that we finally have come up with this idea to share this kind of information because it should not just be made with you, but you should be able to share with others, your family members, your relatives, friends, and neighbors. And above all, Put it into practice so that you transform yourself to better human beings. So we'll be watching this movie for approximately 15 minutes. It's going to be really interesting. Each and every scene is going to give you a lot of information. And once we're done with this, we will take a feedback and we'll have a short QA related to you know common things that happen in Ramadan and any feedback that you'd like to share with us, and then we shall conclude the sessions. Are you ready for that, inshallah? So I will request the technical team to please stay back in the movie and watch you. You should stay back in the show. But I'd like to add, before we start the movie, I'd like to call upon Ms. Valerie to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you so um, much. We're really, really honored to have um, our esteemed colleagues joining us to share about Miranda. Some of you know very well about Miranda. I'm impressed. You knew the story exactly. Uh, some of us maybe don't know so much. Uh, I watched the movie with the boys earlier, and I was thinking, shall I go? Shall I stay with the girls? But I decided I wanted to stay and watch it again because it gave me a lot to think about. Because Ramadan and the Quran, the values that, that are embedded there, are not just for one religion or the other religion. They're for all of us. The values of uh, caring about others, about being more spiritual, about being a better person. This is for each and every one of us. So this is a really important message. So as you're watching, reflect, think about how are you going to apply these values to your life, not just for Ramadan, but moving forwards. So thank you again. All right, pleasure. Thank you, Mr. Shujah, a few words, please. Uh, guys, this is Steve. I think something we have some misconceptions about what happens during Ramadan. So, what we were discussing was it's not just about fasting, 
it's about controlling ourselves. So controlling what we see, controlling what we watch, controlling what we hear. Okay? And that all builds character. And again, it's not just restricted to Islam, is it? A lot of other religions, they practice fasting, okay? And they have to abstain from certain things. So that's very important. So yes, uh, it's Ramadan, Ramadan is coming up, I can watch the Ramadan movie, and I appreciate these people from other religions here as well. But have to reflect on how uh, and link to your religion also. Okay, and that's very important. And that way we can see how the message that we've given is not just for anyone who is a Muslim, but for everybody. Okay, thank you.
billion Muslims around the world consider Ramadan as the greatest month of the entire year. But do you know why? Come, let's explore Ramadan, the greatest month. Ramadan literally means Observed by the Muslims 
around the world is doing its job together as families, as societies, and as humanity at large. For Muslims, Zakah, charity is the duty and the pillar of Islam. Therefore, they take great care and give 2.5% from their annual savings, especially in the month of Ramadan, to gain greater rewards. Allah Almighty says regarding charity in the Quran. Allah 
be a good person to her. What did it cost you? Nothing, right? It's simple as that. To forgive others is a great deal. So now we would like to listen from you. What did you learn from this video? So I have my, yes, I have the microphone going to you all. Please, one by one, if you can please share your feedback. What did you learn? What did you grasp? That will help us understand one another better. Who is going to go first? Who is going to go first? You can raise your hand with the microphone. Um, I really like this video and I really like after stating um, uh, and hearing something about Ramadan, like fasting or Zakat, like there's, there's always an ayah that follows it from the Quran. And that reads it, and the Shaykh reads it very nicely. And it's just, you connect that this work that I'm doing is actually for God, for this ayah that he said it in his wise words in the Quran. So I really loved how everything was dramatic and it was really nice with you, and I really loved it. And I'll definitely share it to my family. That's great, yes, that's a good thing for me. Because an instruction, an instruction deserves to be followed. And every instruction, is, there is a benefit for you. Just like we had some good number of students in the back, very quietly they have come in and joined them without disturbing anyone in the front. So this is going to be a new message for them. So every time you have a verse in the Quran, it is for us to implement it and to ponder over it. Yes, the next now please. Of, uh, it's one of the last 10 days of uh, Ramadan. It's one of the last 10 days of odd nights of uh, Ramadan. Yes. That's called the power of night. Okay, so I believe that it's Ramadan, there's a certain vibe to like respect what we have to do towards Allah Yes, very much right. Everything that you do is the intention that you're doing to please God Almighty. Okay, so whatever I have learned, that Ramadan uh, is the year of a good, of a good, and with the respect of others, as the Holy teach us, non Muslims and Muslims, to respect each other, be kind, love, share, even if he was rich or poor, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Very much true. That's what is called equality. In the short term, we call it as equality. In other terms, we can call it as tolerance. You're very much right. Okay. Now, can I ask you one question? You said family. You said family. Which family do you mean? I mean when. Um, you mean your family you're talking about? Not only family. When you go to other people, like your friends or neighbors, okay. you all feel okay. like that. Thank you. That's what I want to talk about from you. I don't know why you're saying the Quran. Why you can ask the Inna Khalikanakum in Zakari wa Hunsa wa Jaranakum, right? So, all oh, mankind is created from written from a single male and female and made you to different nations and tribes so that you would know each other. So we, when we say family, apart from our own immediate family, 
the, the entire humanity at large, we are talking as, as family. Yeah? Thank you very much. 